introduce you to a funny young fellow who's going to be appearing in the new Steve Martin film, Roxanne. He's a regular performer at the Improv and the Comedy Store here in Los Angeles. Welcome, Rich Scheidner. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, what is it? July? August? One of those months? <laughs> Pressure to tan getting to you folks? <laughs> Unbelievable this time of year, isn't it? We're running out of time. We gotta get that tan. We gotta get it. It's almost September. It'll be all over. I got burned. I went out once, got burned. That was it. I can't play. I don't tan well. I get out to the beach, and my friends drag me out there. Now, don't worry, Rich, we're going to get you a good base tan. Once you get a good base tan, you're all right for the rest of the summer. I get out there, I don't have any sunscreen, because I don't know what sunscreen I am. Do I start at 8? I move up to 10? Do I go to the doctor's office, blood test, urinalysis? <laughs> I don't know what I am. I don't have any sunscreen. One of the guys hands me his baby oil. <laughs> this is liquid magnifying glass. <laughs> I put this on, you might as well throw me a walk and stir fry me for a couple hours. <laughs> I spend the whole day on the beach like, have I had too much? Should I curl up? You're okay. Am I okay? You're okay that night. <laughs> Don't worry, Rich. Once your skin peels off, you'll have that good base tan we were talking about. And I don't go in the ocean because there are creatures there that will eat you. <laughs> that is top of the list ways I don't want to die. I don't want to be eaten alive by another animal. I don't want to look down and see another animal working its way up my leg. Because, <laughs> see, we as people, we think we're at the top of the food chain. Wrong. <laughs> people, sharks. <laughs> Well, look at it from the shark's point of view. If you were a shark, what would you rather do for your meal? Chase a tuna zigzagging at 30 miles an hour? Or head for the thing that's bobbing in the surf and yelling? Now, I love animals. I mean, I love going to zoos. I went to the San Diego Zoo, which is a great zoo. Not that the L.A. Zoo is not a good one. You shouldn't see it right today. But it's a good zoo. The gorillas, though, I go to the gorilla cage. The gorillas, if you've ever been there, check them out. They look angry, don't they look angry? They look very angry. They know, they must know that they're one chromosome away from being on the other side of the fence. <laughs> it's just this close to driving a car. <laughs> It's that whole thing. I've seen enough of this sign. Baby on board. <laughs> Just too much. Just too much. Too much. It's too much. I mean, I mean, I know the parents have concern for their child when they put the sign there, but what do they want me to do as the other driver? I see this pull off and wait until the baby gets home. <laughs> Two hours. Kids should be asleep by now. Let's pick it up. <laughs> see, it's totally... I think it's totally... Like, what's happening now is people of my generation tend to have one baby families. That's a lot of that. Um, you know, I don't have any, so I'm not really complaining about what they're doing. But they have one baby families, which puts a lot of pressure on the baby. Because the parents are like, this is the super baby. It has to be everything. It has to be everything. See, my parents had four kids. They're a little bit more like, well, if this one doesn't make it, maybe this one will pull it off. <laughs> I love my dad. Well, it's just that the 4th of July was was one of his times, you know, because he'd get fireworks for us, but, you know, as a kid, you know, fireworks for, were fun if you could, like, test their destructive potential. I mean, put a cherry bomb in a mailbox. Let's see what this baby can do. <laughs> My dad would get those fireworks, see adult supervision, and this meant adult supervision. All right, back up. Get in that trench, you dog. Back up. All right, get in. All right, put the safety goggles on. All right, now get ready. I'm going to light the sparkler. <laughs> No, don't look at it directly. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. As in adulthood, I've, I've just made, this is like, just found out yesterday that I made an, an offer. I guess that's it, an offer on a house. I'm going to buy a house, which is like, the pressure on me is unbelievable at this point. 
I can't believe, you know, and my dad, I mean, he's very supportive and I love the man, but I got on the phone with him today telling him, and he's like, well, California, what are you, nuts? Earthquakes. You just, you know, what could happen to your property value? I'm thinking, if the big one really hits and death and destruction is raining around my ears, am I going to be going like, what's going on with the property value here? Oh, my God. It must be down to 1.30. And it's just another big move on my part. I've, uh, I've, you can see me shake. I've quit smoking. It's, it's yeah, I know. It's, it's been like... Um, Let's see, let's see how long, it's been like, how long have I been out here? And, uh, it's been that, you know. And I smoke the worst. I smoke Camel non-filters. Oh, these babies cause cancer in cigarette machines. And, uh, Surgeon General's warning, you're on your own, pal. I, I did stop caffeine totally. It's been a long time for me with caffeine, because I was getting crazy with caffeine. I was smoking like 10, 15 cups of coffee a day. And getting some real good sleep. Is it time to get up yet? No, not yet. I'll just lay here and twitch for a couple of more hours. 158, toss, toss, turn, turn. 159, toss, toss, turn, turn. 201, who must have dozed off for a minute there? You sleep when you can in this life. I'd wake up and play with that snooze alarm for a while. That snooze alarm, where would we be as an American Republic without that extra five minutes sleep? <laughs> we all do basically the same thing. We set the clock radio an hour ahead of when we really want to get up. And then we just bang away on that drum, don't we? Um, ooh, five more minutes sleep. Um, ooh, another five. Ooh, I'm really resting now. Well, this way to sleep just like this. I'll set the alarm at 11, I'll bang until 7 in the morning. Oh, yeah, I'll get a good night's sleep and a darn good workout for my arm, too. I'll get two of them, that way it won't be lopsided. Thank you very much, folks.